Hey guys, welcome to Feature Junkie. My name's Ed, and thank you for joining us today. If this is your first time, welcome. Uh, this is Feature Junkie, where we talk everything movies, TV shows, streaming, all that great, great stuff. Uh, today, I have a really special guest with me today, uh, super huge Star Wars fan, uh, Matt. Happy to be here. Um, yeah, uh, I've been a Star Wars fan for almost uh, going on close to 20 years here soon. Uh, so uh, I try to lend a little expertise in my uh, Star Wars knowledge and pontificate as I can. So today we'll be uh, watching the trailer for the new Star Wars series Andor. Uh, the official trailer just dropped about an hour ago, so we'll be doing a live um, reaction video on the trailer. So IMDb's uh, synopsis says prequel series to the Star Wars Rogue One in an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian will embark on a path that is destined to turn him into a rebel hero. Did I say that correct? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Um, yeah, Cassian is a very interesting character, and um, his history with uh, starting fighting for the rebellion goes back to when he was a child. Um, in Rogue One, he uh, was saying that he was... Uh, in the fight since he was six years old and so like all he's known his entire life was was the fighting the empire and um i really like his arc in rogue one so i'm actually interested to see how he goes from um this boy to like the like stone cold killer that he he actually was in the beginning of rogue one all right so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, watch this trailer. You ready, Matt? Yep. All right, let's press it in three, two, one, go. Okay. Ooh. Man, that Star Destroyer is lowest. Uh, They're looking for someone. Yeah. Just steal from the Empire. You just walk in like you belong. They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Oh, heck yeah. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. We got Stellan Skarsgård in it too. That's freaking awesome. What I'm asking is this: Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? I need all the heroes I can get for the greater good. Oh hell yeah, Saga! Call it you will. Let's call it. Yeah. War. Horus Whitaker's one good eye. There, so. Pockets of fermenting. Oh, this looks great. You're in my net. I'm loving the details of the buildings now. Are you a fish? Like, or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. Who's the dude? Who's Stellan Skarsgård's character? That's what I want to know. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really That's doing. That's Mon Mothma. What are you really doing? From, uh, Return of the Jedi. This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. I'm about it like i i really am about the the this this story um the thing about star wars is a lot of people like just love like the lightsaber battles and stuff but i actually like the the, the what the normies are doing like rogue one was freaking awesome i i loved solo too so like trying to trying to like tell that story without like the dogmatic like jedi versus sith stuff is is very it could be difficult, but like, 
it's definitely possible and and it and usually so far so like it's been all of the star wars series have just been freaking knockouts so a lot, a lot of people had their criticisms for the um obi-wan series saying that it didn't like go to so many places like basically um it's supposed to be like star wars there's more galaxies than just those specific planets that they always go to but i really like the detail in this wherever they're at right now like it, it feels like it's more bigger and like a place that we've never really uh tapped into um in this new disney star wars yeah and i think i think like people just need to like temper their expectations when it comes to star wars because a, a lot of like the fan base is is like oh the original trilogy was the best and like nothing can beat it and anything new that comes out that's like not what they like they kind of like shit on it and i don't think that it needs to be that way like just enjoy the storytelling like the obi-wan series i didn't care that they only were on well they, they were all over the place but like yeah and it's about it's about obi-wan getting his fucking groove back though like he he essentially has like this he's been alone for a decade at this point he's got ptsd he um his best friend is uh like destroyed everything he ever knew he and then like that's just in the movie and then not to mention that like during it like going back to like the cartoon series even like obi-wan was in love with a woman at some point they became best friends because he was strict like a strict jedi and whatnot she was killed so he's so he he lost the woman he loves he lost the only person that like was a father figure to him to darth maul and that being qui-gon jinn and then he lost his best friend and brother like and then every like the the culture in which he he was raised and grew up in like and he still manages to to not turn the dark side um save the day and like totally wax vader again like <laughs> i my favorite fight scenes in in, in obi uh, for sure when i say that that was the best 45 minutes of star wars i ever watched i mean that mm -hmm. yeah and so for this series it doesn't look like we're gonna go into all of that like uh dark vader and and stuff like that i don't think he's gonna make a cameo but to see um forrest whitaker's character and I, I forget the i forget his name but he's he's the doctor from thor um oh stellan skarsgård yes yeah yeah i'm, I'm very curious in, in who he is because in the trailer he's like i i'm tired of hiding i'm like wait what, what what's going on Anne frank um you can cut that part out <laughs> um because like who is he what like what like like i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can pull up um imdb to see if i can get a name for him mm -hmm. why do i don't know if he caught it but at the end it said it's gonna be a three episode, episode premiere drop I'm, I'm pretty excited about that i'm not sure how many um episodes this series is gonna have usually they've been doing like the mini six episodes ones i would it's, i would assume this one might be a little bit longer um because that's been a criticism for people as well that it's there there have been pretty short episodes but um okay yeah so it's gonna be a 12 episode series so we're gonna be seeing this journey um for a long time um it's gonna have like a lot of great uh building up character moments because you talked about it before the trailer and it looks like they're going to show cassian as a as a as a, boy. as a boy correct yeah they um so they're so there's he isn't listed he isn't named in this and he's only credited with one episode but there's going to be 12 episodes mm -hmm. and i think that that could uh i or what i'm gathering from this is one he's he's a big name character either now or in the future and two he's going to be in more episodes because there's even there's like five six cast members that aren't listed by name um i don't know who clemens schick is but he's the fourth build um and they've listed him in three episodes um even an obi one they had senator organa only listed as for one episode but obviously he was in 
the last one as well. Mm -hmm. The route, so um, I don't really trust those. I think, like you said, he's going to be in more than just one. But yeah, I, I think the trailer kind of did what it was supposed to. It, it rose my level of, of excitement for this TV show. Um, mm -hmm. I, I love Saw Gerrera. He's like an interesting character and in, in, if you watch the cartoon series, like he's always been that like very um, like radical type. Like he, he just wants to accomplish the mission no matter what the cost. Uh, I just checked. It's going to be two seasons. Both of them are going to be 12 episodes. Oh, shit. The second one is going to lead straight into Rogue One. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew that that's where it was going to end. But two seasons, I'm um, 24. That's a lot. That's a lot. So, um, that's awesome. Star Wars fans, get ready. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the trailer. Leave your comments down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, are you excited for this TV show to come out? Um, just let me know. Um, and I want to thank uh, Matt real quick uh, for coming on. I really appreciate you taking your time out of the day to do this. Um, hey, I'm always happy to. And, and whenever you want, I'm, I'm here. Awesome. I really appreciate it, man. Um, so if you guys haven't already, please like this video. Uh, subscribe. Share with your family and friends. Hit that notification icon uh, somewhere around here uh, so you know when I'm going live or dropping new content. And I really appreciate you guys for coming on and joining us on Feature Junkie.